Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my keto-friendly, low-carb snacks. A pizza made out of chicken, pastrami bacon twists, some cheese crackers that are zatar flavored, basil BLT hard-boiled egg sandwiches, and a loaded waffle. As somebody who started working in kitchens, working in the food industry since I was 15, I've been around food a lot of my life and eventually that caught up to me and I had gained a lot of weight. I discovered the low carb diet and it really appealed to me because I could still have cheese and meat and all that great stuff, avocados, nuts, and eat well, enjoy myself, not really feel like I'm cheating or on a diet and lose a lot of weight. Join me on this keto friendly, low carb journey. So today I'm making bacon twists, but I'm gonna be making them pastrami style. So first you need, of course, bacon and some paprika, coriander, cracked black peppercorn. I'm gonna show you to make a baking rack with aluminum foil. I'm using the heavy duty aluminum foil to make this easier. And you see here that you have ridges to place your bacon twists on. I like doing bacon twists because it's more complicated. <laughs> so the main way to do that is you just keep twisting and twisting and twisting. I'm gonna transfer to the pan. I had this idea when I was shopping for the bacon for this video, guys, that I could try a skewer on one side and a skewer on the other, and then I could hold it, and kind of like a propeller, I could twist it. And you never know what's gonna work in the kitchen. Might as well try it. So here we go. We have our bacon all twisted up. We're gonna coat it very heavily with black pepper and spices because not only is it gonna be yummy and crusty that way, it is going to mimic the pastrami as well. Wow, this looks amazing. All right, we're gonna pop it in. It turns out through a lot of scientific tasting, baking bacon smells really good. Ding! Now I'm gonna try our pastrami style bacon twists. These are so crisp, look at that. We're going full deli style here. Yes! You don't even need the bread for a pastrami style sandwich. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, okay, stop the presses. This is serious delicious. If you guys don't make this, you're just missing out. Make them now. Thank you, end of story. <laughs> now I'm gonna make cheese crackers, which are kind of like homemade cheese. It's but different and way better. So mine are gonna have a little bit of a twist. We're gonna use a za'atar. The main ingredient is going to be thinly sliced cheddar cheese. Okay, ready, we're going to cut four squares. Practice makes perfect. I have this nifty retractable metal straw. I'm gonna punch a little circle out of the middle of each one to give it that cheese its look. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of za'atar and don't forget your crunchy salt. This makes all the difference. We're gonna start transferring them over here. So, the cheese its are ready to go. I have them on a Silpat, but don't be intimidated by that. Even though Silpat's NASA technology, you can use parchment paper, you can use an oiled pan, aluminum foil, whatever you want. This is just guaranteed not to stick. Ready? We're going to the oven. The cheese crackers are ready. Lacy and beautiful. Let's try them. Wow. That sprinkle of salt too really makes a difference. Wow. I could see doing a lot of things with these. It'd be great for an hors d'oeuvre. Put a little pesto on them, a little creme fraiche, chive, scallion. Incredible. Okay, for the next recipe, we're gonna try the TikTok legend loaded waffle using none other than the turquoise mini waffle iron. You know, we're gonna put some pickles inside, a mix of cheeses here. We have some cheddar. Here we have some rosemary, thyme, and sage. I'm also gonna throw in some Frank's Red Hot. We're gonna open up our little waffle iron here. It's smoking hot. Okay, gonna put some cheese at the bottom. I'm gonna tear in some herbs. We're gonna put some pickles in there. Cover it with some more cheese. Hot sauce! And we're gonna close it. A lot of professional chefs kind of like look at this stuff and think, eh, but this is crowdsourced information. It's coming fast over social media. People are trying it out. And there's some cool things there. So it's kitchen innovation, it's fun. Whoa! You know what it needs? Black pepper. Nice. So I'm gonna pull it out. Whoa! Now that is a loaded waffle. 
Whoa, look at the herbs in there. This just takes it to another level using the fresh herbs. I think out of all the snacks, this one's gotta be number one. It's my instant favorite. Wow. I think people are knocking at my door because they can smell this. Next, I'm gonna make my basil BLT hard-boiled egg sandwich. First, you're gonna need some hard-boiled eggs, some tomatoes, some bacon, and some mayo, and some beautiful basil with some black pepper if you want. Let's go, we're gonna crack up a hard-boiled egg. All right, peel it off. So, we're gonna split it, two halves of egg. Next, the mayo, basil leaf. This replaces the lettuce. We're gonna slice some nice tomatoes. Then we're gonna put our bacon on the other side, black pepper. All right, I'm going to put the top on. This is a BBT, basil, bacon, and tomato. Let's finish this off. Mmm, 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 so good. You have the luscious gush of the tomato, crispy smoky bacon, basil, creamy mayo, and the hard-boiled egg, it just adds richness. Oh, so good. Next, we're gonna make pizza, but not just any pizza. We're gonna make a crust out of chicken. It's amazing. Maybe even better than the normal pizza. Let's find out. First, we're gonna use some chicken. I hear I have canned chicken. Then we're gonna add one egg, some grated Parmesan cheese, tomato, and some mozz basil. We also have pepperoni. First, we're gonna pulverize the chicken, okay? This isn't just a chicken pizza. It's also a workout, okay? Now we're going to add an egg, some Parmesan, Mix it all up. Lay out some parchment paper. Put it into the center. Mash it into a circle. Grab your trusty rolling pin. This one is made by Topo Chico. <laughs> Olive oil coming in. Now we're going into the oven. Look at the crust. It's incredible. All right, let's get going with the pizza. We're gonna crush some tomatoes over it. Next, I'm gonna tear off some mozzarella. Again, I like that better than slicing. Adds a lot of texture. It's gonna brown in different areas. Now we're gonna put in our pepperoni. All right, Parmesan cheese. Olive oil. All right, going in the oven. When the pizza comes out of the oven, you wanna add ingredients that are a counterpoint to these sort of like very roasty flavors, right? So the basil is gone fresh, and then I put on a little black pepper and some freshly grated parm. This pizza has a chicken crust. There's no flour. Would you be able to tell? It, not only does it look delicious, but it is delicious. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you try one of these recipes. If you do, let me know in the comments below.